Hello friends welcome to the new video and good morning. A U.S. federal judge has released new evidence against Donald Trump in the ongoing election fraud trial in Washington, D.C. Judge Tanya Chitkin on Wednesday unsealed a 165-page court filing detailing prosecutors' argument that Trump, in his final months as president, used private funds to overturn the results of the 2020 election. Worked in capacity, the filing is the latest effort by the special counsel. Jack Smith to explain how presidential immunity does not apply to Trump's actions. It perhaps presents the most complete case of the 78-year-old's efforts to cling to power after his term ended. It also arrives barely a month before the 2024 election, as Trump is seeking re-election once again. In the filing, prosecutors allege that Trump told his family members, it doesn't matter if you win or lose the election, you still have to fight like hell. The brief also describes multiple interactions in which the former president repeatedly told him there was no evidence that his 2020 election battle with Joe Biden was rigged, or at large, was stolen through voter fraud, as Trump has repeatedly claimed. A central part of the brief is the allegation that Trump's actions were taken in his capacity as a private individual rather than in an official role. That's because earlier this summer, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that Trump has broad immunity for his actions as president. Defendant claims he is immune from prosecution for his criminal scheme to overturn the 2020 presidential election because he claims it involved official conduct, the filing states. Not so. Although the defendant was the sitting president at the time of the charged conspiracies, his scheme was essentially a private one. It added, Working with a team of private co-conspirators, the defendant acted as a candidate as he pursued a number of criminal practices to disrupt, defraud and defraud through the governmental function by which votes are collected and counted a function in which the defendant, as president, had no official role. The 195-page document lists multiple occasions when advisors and staff warned Trump that, despite his claims, there was no evidence of wrongdoing during the 2020 election. According to the filing three days before Election Day 2020, an advisor described Trump's plan this way. He's going to declare victory. That doesn't mean he's the winner, he's just going to say it. He is the winner. In another instance, the brief explains that an advisor privately told Trump that he would be unable to prove his false allegations of fraud in court. Trump reportedly replied, The details don't matter. Elsewhere, Trump has been accused of deliberately spreading misinformation about the election and encouraging his allies to fight back. Trump will publicly echo those sentiments on January 6, 2021, speaking at a so-called Stop Theft rally. He encouraged his supporters to make their feelings known at the U.S. Capitol, located just a few kilometers away. Soon, the Capitol will be overrun by a mob, which will attempt to disrupt the verification of Electoral College votes. The filing also includes examples from then-Vice President Mike Pence that Trump found no evidence of election fraud. It said that during a lunch in November 2020, Pence told Trump to accept defeat and run again in the next presidential race. I don't know, Trump replied. 2024 is a long way off. Pence ultimately played a formal role in certifying the Electoral College votes, which determined the U.S. presidency. However, in the build-up to January 6, Trump pressured Pence to withhold certification. In short, the argument is that even during the Capitol attack, Trump's attempts to intimidate Pence continued. At 2.24 p.m., Trump was alone in his dining room when he issued a tweet attacking Pence and fueling the ongoing uproar, prosecutors wrote in the filing. The social media post included the message, Mike Pence didn't have the guts to do what should have been done to protect our country and our Constitution, giving states the opportunity to confirm the correct set of facts. Is not a fraud or a falsehood, which they were asked to confirm. America demands the truth. Thanks for watching our videos.